So in today's video, we are going to learn how to do front loops only and back loops only in our crochet piece. And the rule that I'm going to teach you here works in a flat crochet piece like this one or a round crochet piece that we usually use to create our amigurumis, okay? So let's start together. First, let's analyze these stitches here. You see that every stitch forms like this V shape. So the if I'm looking at the crochet piece like this, this loop that is facing me, the first one from the V is my front loop. And the other one backwards from the V is the back loop. Okay? It's very simple. So if we want to crochet through front loops only, we only take this loop that is facing us. We yarn over and make our single crochet. You can create half double crochet or double crochet in the stitches that you want using the front and the back loops, okay? So I insert the hook here and as you can see we have the back loop here that is not being used. Front loops only. I'll do it once again. I'm taking only one. Can you see the difference if I was supposed to use both loops? I have the V here in the crochet hook. Look, I insert the hook here and I have both loops in my crochet hook. I have the V. But if I take only the first one, the front loop, the back one is not being used. Okay? So I finished this row and as you can see, I only used front loops. Okay? Well, when we look at the crochet piece like this, we cannot actually say if I used um, both loops or only the front ones. But if we look at the back, we can see that it formed a line here. So this is how we can make sure that the front loops were used. Okay? The amount of stitches that I have here in the last row is the same amount of loops that I have forming this line here. Okay, so this is our front loops. So now let's do the back loops. I'll make a chain and turn my crochet piece. And as I explained before, instead of inserting my hook here in the loop that is facing me, I will insert between both, both loops, okay? Between the V. So let's do it. You yarn over and make a single crochet and the same rule applies here. You can make a half double crochet, double crochet, it doesn't matter the stitch, okay? Front loops and back loops can be used for any kind of stitches, okay? So insert the hook between the V, only taking the back loop here, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over and here you have your stitch. Okay, so can you see the difference? First we made it here in the front and now we are inserting the hook here in the middle, only taking the back loop of the V. And now the difference is that while we create the back loops, the line is facing us. When we made the front loops, we couldn't see the line, it was facing backwards. Okay, so I'll keep crocheting and I'll show you in the end. So I finished this row, only making back loops, okay? Working on the back loops. And we have the line that I mentioned here. We can use it for many different purposes, okay? And we can even insert the hook here, 
to create, I don't know, another layer if it was, I don't know, a dress to an amigurumi doll and you can look at the dress like this and this could be another layer of the dress. There are many different purposes as I said, okay? So this is our front and back loops.